Computer here. Today, I am going to explain the basics of Makefile. If you already know the basics and want to know how to use variables and automatically generate rules using dependency tracking, please check out my advanced tutorial on Makefile. Without further to do, let's begin. Before understanding Makefile, let's first look at a problem you may encounter when manually compiling a program. Here is a simple C program that prints the factorial of a positive integer. If you want to compile this program using GCC, you have to do the following. As we can see, we are first building factorial.o and main.o and then linking them. Now, if you change main.c, factorial.c, or factorial.h, you would need to recompile those files manually. This is a cumbersome process, especially when the number of files is big. This is when a makefile comes in handy. Using a makefile, we can automate this build process. A makefile is a file that contains a set of rules, each rule defining how a file should be compiled. Essentially, it is a building recipe. The syntax of a makefile rule is as follows. Target is a file you want to generate. After a colon, you list its prerequisites, separated by a space. Prerequisites are files required to generate the target file. If a prerequisite file does not exist already, Makefile will look for the file in its rules and generate the prerequisite file first. If all prerequisites exist, then the target file will be built using the command. It is important that the command is indented with a tab. Here is a Makefile for the factorial program. There are three rules in total. In the first rule, the target file is factorial. The prerequisites are main.o and factorial.o. And the command needed to generate factorial is located below, indented with a tab. The second and third rules specify the object files needed to build factorial. A makefile must be named makefile. To run it, simply type make in your terminal. It is important to note that a makefile will only try to generate the first target listed. So if you want to generate multiple files, you have to use a special rule called all. A makefile will generate all files listed after the all rule. Also, you might want to quickly delete object files, executables, or some other files generated by a makefile. To do this, use a special rule called clean. The command for the clean rule is r, m, dash, f, and the list of files you wish to delete when invoked. To invoke the clean rule, you type make clean in your terminal. Here is a makefile that uses both all and clean rules. That's it for the basics of makefile. I hope you can now use makefile to automatically compile your program. If you want to learn to automatically generate rules in Makefile, please check out my advanced tutorial on Makefile. Thank you for watching, and like and subscribe for more content. Computer signing off.